hey, you're going to love this. An OAN host brutally attacks me, tags the wrong David Pakman on Instagram, tagging a scam account, misspells my name and is generally totally triggered. Here's the backstory of this. A few weeks ago, I did a story about OAN host Allison Steinberg. Allison Steinberg had a conspiracy theory about her nest thermostat. I guess she rents an apartment. She moved into the apartment. There was a nest thermostat, which like every nest thermostat knows when you walk by. She calls it. It's tracking her in her home. And she presented all sorts of unproven conspiracy theories. I did a segment on it. Okay, so that that was the the video that I did. We just showed you a screenshot of it. So Allison Steinberg is furious with me, and she now has done a segment on OAN. Imagine that this is Trump's darling OAN attacking me. You'll notice my name isn't even spelled correctly on the entire thing. Let's get into it. And what's sad is she's so confused about these thermostats. She doesn't understand how they work. Take a look at this. I think you're going to like this as a nest thermostat installed, which I didn't really think much of until I noticed it just started adjusting the temperature when I wasn't home. Now, that's a feature you can turn on and off. OK, I've had nest thermostats for a year there. There's a learning option where you go, hey, Pay attention to my activity and whether I'm home, which it knows by whether you walk by in front of the thermostat. And adjust for maximum efficiency, lower the temperature or or allow it to go up, depending on whether it's winter or summer. This is just a feature. You can turn it on and off. When I realized this device has the ability to actually sense your whereabouts, it immediately led me to believe that this is yet another system that will soon be required in probably every new home that's built which I personally find deeply disturbing. Now, it's just home sense. That's what it's called. You you can tell it sense when I'm home or not. You can turn it off. It's no big deal. And it was then that I made this video expressing my concerns over the technology. But instead of playing you my video, I'm just going to go ahead and show you a video of my video. That's right. David Pakman, a soy infused triggered leftist. Soy thought infused. What I had to say about. You know, what's funny is I, I don't really eat soy. I, I mean, every once in a while I have, you know, like Mapo tofu. But I, where, where is this soy thing coming from? Smart thermostats tracking you was so preposterous. It was preposterous. That he made a whole video making fun of me for thinking that globalists were tracking me. Watch. Oh, and please, while you're watching, make note of his extremely sh- an utterly pathetic attempt at an Alex Jones impression. Yeah. Okay. so then she plays my entire clip, which we're going to skip over because you already know my clip. I'm not going to play her playing my clip. Okay. so and then now we get back to her commentary and you just have to listen to this stuff. Hey, David, we get it. You think I'm a crazy conspiracy theorist, tinfoil hat wearing Alex Jones worshiping weirdo. Yes. Which I actually take as a massive compliment. Thank you ever so much. But what if I She's just saying, I actually am all of those things. I were to tell you, David, that not only was Alex Jones right, but so was Allison Steinberg. Mm. Well, when thousands of XL customers in Colorado tried adjusting their thermostats Tuesday, they learned they couldn't. Denver 7 consumer investigator Jacqueline Allen talked with some of those customers. Jacqueline, they're upset they had no control over the temp in their Ooh. own home. That's right. And, you know, Excel is calling, calling this a rare energy emergency. And, yes, they took over tens of thousands of smart thermostats here in Colorado. For the first time, there was nothing homeowners could do about it. Well, shucks. Now, Allison Steinberg is so clueless that she doesn't understand that's a voluntary Colorado rewards program. It's it's not mandatory. Do you understand what you're signing up for? OK, in Colorado, they had this program where if you opt in with your smart thermostat, it's your choice. Freedom. OK, if you opt in to let them set your temperature during so-called energy emergencies, you get a hundred dollar credit and twenty five bucks a year. It's optional. There's no there's no subterfuge. People chose to do that. Are the people too dumb to understand what they're even signing up for? Well, that may be the case, but it's not really a conspiracy. What do you know? Looks like conspiracy theorists win again. (laughs) Now, what do you have to say for yourself, David? 
I, I just said it. This is a program people chose to participate in. I think you owe me an apology. Along with about 22,000 other people. Oh my Me God. Rico tried to crank up the AC. I mean, it was 90 out and it was right during the peak period. That's when he found out he had no control of his thermostat. A message from Excel on his thermostat saying temperature locked during an energy emergency. And our thermostat was locked in at 78 or 79. Turns out he's not alone. Excel confirms to contact number seven. 22,000 customers were locked out of their smart thermostats for hours on Tuesday. Because they opted into the program by choice to get a hundred bucks and then 25 a year. To me, an emergency means there is, you know, life, limb, or, you know, some other danger out there. Some limb. Massive wildfires. He says he had no idea locked thermostats came with that. And it's not what he signed up for. It just doesn't sit right with us to not <laughs> be able to control our own. It quite literally is what he signed up for. Thermostat in your house. You see, David, when I say globalists, I'm not just referring to the top 1% upper echelons of society. Ah. I'm also talking about all of their minions who are too dumbed down to figure out what's going on and are complicit in aiding said globalists and carrying out and ushering in their agenda. I guess that's me. And by agenda, I mean creating a spy state and a social credit system all to keep you safe. Can you imagine? They sell it as convenience. Oh, look how cool this is. You don't have to worry about remembering to turn off your air anymore. Save money on your outrageously high energy bills. Do you think she's figured out that these are just settings on her nest and she can turn all of them off? You have Democrats and let your smart thermostat shut off while you're away. The same people who are creating the problem are selling you the solution. Big tech and private companies are teaming up to put you in a high tech social credit score prison. And it's honestly not even really a conspiracy at this point. Now that we have dictators like Governor Greaseball telling us when we can and can't use our AC and home appliances. And today. So she cuts to Gavin Newsom. The funny thing is, this has nothing to do with just Democratic governors. Texas is, you know, Texas has this ERCOT system where they've decided to isolate their electrical grid. And so there's storms in the winter and nobody has power. It's crazy what Texas has done. Texas's energy grid, patriotic, independent, their energy company, they did the same thing. OK, they, they did the exact same thing. And we covered it at the time. Texas's largest energy companies say they adjust some customers thermostats due to grid conditions. Consumers say they weren't aware they opted into such a program. It's the same thing with a Republican governor. It's user error. The customers don't know what the hell they're opting into, and she wants to pretend it's globalist and Gavin Newsom and Democrats. It's just user error and people who don't know what the hell they're doing. And tomorrow afternoon after 4 p.m., in particular 4 p.m., please turn your thermostat up to 78 degrees or higher and avoid to the extent possible using any really large appliances. Now, since we've determined that Alex Jones is more often than not pretty much always right. Remember, she made fun of me for saying that she's just a, an Alex Jones wannabe. And now this is the third time in the video she says Alex Jones is right about basically everything. Let's go ahead and take a little trip back to 2004. All right. So then she goes to a report from Alex Jones. Let's now get to the final part of this, which is Allison's advice to me. Right. Well, there you have it, folks. I don't know what more you need to see. They started cultivating this technology decades ago, and the creators are literally telling you exactly what they're doing. But sure, go ahead, David. Keep drinking your soy and getting your poison shots and believing everything the media tells you. Whatever you do, definitely don't question anything, ever. I'm questioning this. But if you do see this video, I would just like to make a couple of very small requests. One, please stop uploading my content so you can monetize it. I could say the same to you. I believe you owe me some cash now, along with your apology. And two, for the love of God, stop playing your pre-recorded sound bites impersonating Alex Jones, because quite frankly, they suck and you sound nothing like him. Ooh. If you're gonna make fun of someone, at least do a decent job. Okay. Oh, and last thing, your button-up sweater vests have got to go. I don't have any button-up sweater vests. I, I don't know what she's talking about. You're already affiliated with the party who's in support of maps. So I would hate for people to think that you're one of them. Just saying. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
So anyway, there is Alison Steinberg. And by the way, maps is like minor attracted persons. It's like a code word for ped pedophile, which is uh, it, it's sort of their playbook. Just call anybody you disagree with a pedophile. So e extraordinarily interesting stuff. And one other little funny note in her post, she tags an account called David Pakman show fan with no followers that she thinks is me. And she couldn't even tag. I mean, it's crazy. Every detail is crazy. She tagged a spam impersonation account of me when she uploaded this video. Scary stuff. We'll have this clip on our Instagram at David Pakman show. 